Hello everyone, my name is Alex Disabella and for my first book critique I will be focusing on children's books that are categorized under the genre traditional literature. The five books I chose to read for this first critique are Cinderella by Marsha Brown, Jack and the Beanstalk by Stephen Kellogg, St. George and the Dragon by Margaret Hodges, The Story of the Jumping Mouse by John Steptoe, and my featured text Lawn Po Po by Ed Young. Before jumping in the text, I think it's important to know the, de the definition of traditional literature. To understand why these text selections fit together, the definition of traditional literature is important to know. Traditional literature consists of stories that have been passed down from generation to generation, primarily orally and sometimes written down. After knowing this definition, we can jump right into the text, Lawn Po Po. Lawn Po Po is a Caldecott Medal winner and is a book primarily read at the second grade level. This book is a Red Riding Hood story from China that depicts the encounter of three young sisters, Shang, Tao, and Peyotes, with whom they believe to be their grandmother. As it turns out, their grandmother is actually the big bad wolf who tries to convince the sisters to let him into the house. Instead, they trick him into thinking that ginkgo nuts from the ginkgo tree are magical and will make him live forever if he eats them. When the wolf cannot climb the tree as the sisters have to reach the nuts, the sisters decide to lift him up in a basket. However, every time that the wolf gets closer to the top of the tree, they drop him. The third time the wolf is dropped, he dies. I chose this text as the featured text because it is a story almost every child knows, regardless of their background. It is a multicultural text that can be read across the curriculum, even at varying grade levels. The book sparks creativity and the lesson opportunities are multitudinous. No matter their age, we are all children at heart, and a blast from the past is a much needed break from the normal flow of the general lessons in the classroom. After knowing this definition of traditional literature and having a clear understanding of Wan Po Po, it is easier to see the connection behind the lessons created. The first lesson idea is entitled Telephone for a very specific reason. As a child, oftentimes we played this game called Telephone, where everyone would sit in a circle. One person in the circle would start by whispering a phrase into the ear of the person to his or her left and it would continue around until it reached the child who began once again. Almost every single time the phrase that started the game was not the phrase that ended the game, proving that things can indeed be lost in translation. Therefore, with a class of freshmen of about 25, I find it imperative to remind them of their childhood, as well as demonstrate how traditional literature is passed down from generation to generation, and a few details along the way. To start the lesson, the class will begin by playing multiple rounds of telephone. Each student will get the chance to start the game coming up with outrageous phrases such as, my hamster wears purple socks. Once the phrase comes back to the student who began that round, he or she will write down whatever it is they hear exactly as they hear it. After the game, I will reveal to the students that this will be the basis for a children's book that they will be writing. However, each children's book also has to incorporate some aspects from Lon Po Po. It can be as simple as a character or an item from the story, or as complex as a theme. As long as there is a correlation, the student is on the right track. It is also important that each student attempt, to the best of his or her abilities, to make illustrations for their children's books. They don't have to be perfect, they just have to reflect the story that they've written. This lesson would take the course of a couple weeks and will be turned in for a grade. The second lesson idea was to compare Lom Po Po by Ed Young, a Chinese version of the fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood by Jerry Pinkney, a European version of the fairy tale. Students will read both texts, and while they read, they will track the differences and similarities using a Venn diagram handout. Certain elements they will track include morals and themes, style and content consistency, literary language, character development, and culture, and how these factors affect the interpretation. After reading and analyzing the text, students will write a brief one page paper, roughly three solid, decent sized paragraphs comparing and contrasting the two versions of the same fairy tale. They will have to express whether or not they feel one version of the text appeals to them more than the other, and why. While Lan Po Po is the featured text, the other texts chosen are valid sources for learning, no matter the grade level. Cinderella by Marsha Brown is a Caldecott battle winner and arises as a fairy tale under the genre of traditional literature. The book is most suited for a second grade reading level, however, it can be used at varying grade levels because it's very personable and relates to students at any level in their school. We all know the story of Cinderella as being the servant girl with evil stepsisters who overcomes adversity and finds true love with the prince with the help of her fairy godmother. This book highlights the ideas of having courage and believing in oneself in times of adversity. 
people should always fight for what they want with a good heart and hard heart. Another book I read was St. George and the Dragon by Margaret Hodges. This is another Caldecott Medal winner categorized as a fairy tale under the genre traditional literature. This is a story best suitable for grades 2 to 5 due to length and diction. However, it can be read at any age. The story is closely related to the tale of Perseus and Andromeda in Greek mythology and depicts St. George, a noble Christian knight, defeating a dragon to save Princess Una and the people of Africa, which is where the story takes place. Their story is all about overcoming evil by slaying it with the goodness inside of you. The next book I read was Jack and the Beanstalk by Stephen Kellogg. This is a reading rainbow book also categorized as a fairy tale under the traditional literature genre. The story is at a first to second grade reading level and depicts the story of Jack, who sells his cow Milky for five magic beans. These beans grow into a beanstalk that leads him to numerous fortunes, such as a hen that lays golden eggs. Jack ends up using his wits to outsmart the ogre at the top of the beanstalk and earn a fortune for he and his grandmother. This book deals with taking advantage of the opportunities life provides for us. And the final book I read was The Story of the Jumping Bells by John Steptoe. This is a Caldecott honor book categorized as folklore under the genre of traditional literature. This book has a reading level of grades one to five due to the varying themes present. This book depicts a Native American legend of the inspirational journey of a young mouse to the far off land. There are themes of perseverance and hope that prove that we are all different, but that does not mean that our differences separate us. They ultimately unite us in ways we would not have imagined, especially in the act of being generous and selfless, like the mouse is in the story. He puts others like the bison and the wolf before himself, never expecting anything in return. That's it for my first book critique. Thank you all for listening. Until next time.